so I want to share with you how I make these tofu chicken teriyaki. So obviously they're not chicken, they're made out of tofu. But if you can see here, they're really meaty and resembles chicken a lot. So I cooked it down with my homemade teriyaki sauce and I finished it off with more of the sauce along with some sesame seeds and some chopped scallions. And I served it with some rice and some veggies. So here's like a little close up of the texture so it's like really meaty as you can see. So we're going to start off with two blocks of extra firm tofu. So these are around 200 grams each um, and basically around two inches thick. And basically we're going to go ahead and slice them into slabs. So I slice mine into half. It depends on the size of your tofu. And then each one is going to be around a quarter to an inch thick. And I had four slabs here which I'm going to freeze overnight. So the water is going to expand and it's going to create these like amazing um, textures and layers inside the tofu. And after it, we're going to go and thaw that and just squeeze out the water to drain. So you're going to want to be careful at this point. The tofu is very fragile. It might crumble, um, especially at the sides. So just place it flat on your palm and just squeeze it like a sandwich. And then there we have the four slabs. And we're going to go ahead and season it with some salt and some pepper and flip it over and repeat and just season it as well. And I kind of just rub that just to get the seasonings kind of in the tofu. And we're going to just coat it in some flour or if you like some cornstarch. And I'm just going to coat that. And basically we're going to coat all four slabs here. And then of course we're going to prepare the homemade teriyaki sauce. So I linked the recipe in the description box below if you want to check that out. And this is like a really thin and runny sauce. But you can also thick, um, thicken it with a glaze by using some cornstarch and some water. So this is the sauce here. And we're going to heat up the pan and just pan fry the tofu first. And we're just going to want it a bit golden brown on each side. And afterwards, we're going to go ahead and cook that down with the sauce. So I added in the teriyaki sauce here. And the sauce looks a bit runny, but it's actually going to thicken up because of the flour from the tofu. So you can see here it's slowly thickening up, especially from the heat. The sugars are going to cook down and it's going to like beautifully glaze the tofu. So I just rub the tofu um, with the sauce and just flip that over and cooked it for a few more minutes until the sauce dried up and turned into like a shiny glaze. And then afterwards, when you're happy with that, um, just take it out of the pan. And I basically took mine out and left it to cool for a few minutes before I sliced them into these like thick strips. And there you can see the texture of the tofu, it looks really meaty and it looks super good and super satisfying. So what I did here with the pan was I deglazed it with a bit of water and added in some shiitake and enoki mushrooms. And I added in more teriyaki sauce and I basically just cooked down the mushrooms. So this is like a really good way to get in all the flavors that were sticking on the pan and also a good way to cook up your mushrooms. So I cooked that down, added in some green onions and once I was happy with that, I basically just transferred it into a bowl and I'm just going to go and mix that up with my tofu and veggies later on. And I also cooked in here some of some my shredded cabbage and carrot with more teriyaki sauce. And I basically just cooked down the veggies until it's tender and served it on a plate with some rice and a tofu. And there you have it. So that was my chicken tofu teriyaki bowl and I hope you guys enjoy. So check out my recipe and I will see you guys in my next video.